Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video here on Nasha Blogs. Now, you may remember about a week or so ago, uh, I did a video called What Could Drayton Manor's Next Coaster Investment Be? Um, today, I'm doing another one of those videos, but today I'm doing it on Chesington World of Adventures. So the question today is what could be Chesington World of Adventures next coast of investment. Now I do want to state before we get into what it could potentially be, uh, you've got to remember Chesington is opening a new investment next year. They are opening a drop tower which will be replacing Ramesses Revenge. Um, so obviously they are getting an investment next year however just like with Drayton Manor we don't know when the next coaster investment will be so first off let's start off with when was Chesington's last coaster investment so in the Drayton Manor video you remember I said uh, that Drayton Manor's last um, Coaster investment was nine years ago, which was their Pacoma family boom rank known as uh, Accelerator. For Chesington World of Adventures, they haven't had a new coaster in 16 years. And that coaster investment, what was it I hear you ask? It was the brilliant Dragon's Fury, which is a Mara ride spinning coaster. Uh, just a couple of facts about it. It has a track length of 1,706 feet. It has a height of 50.8 feet, no inversions, and has a capacity of 950 riders per hour. So that was their last coaster investment all the way back in 2004. So 16 years since their last coaster investment. So now let's talk about where uh, the potential location for this new coaster investment could be. So in the original plan for this video, it was gonna be in the Ramesses Revenge area, uh, but because obviously the drop tower's going there and that space is now pretty much occupied, we're gonna to have to look at a new location. And the new location that I came up with was in the Zufari sort of area. Now I know what a lot of people are thinking, you can't really go there. Uh, but for those who've done Sufari, you'll know as you're walking up to the queue line area, you got like uh, you got like the walls, uh, you got these fences along the side, and there, there is some open space around there. So I think it would be good if they maybe utilise. It would be nice if we had a sort of a coaster themed, maybe a same theme that's on Sufari, but in a coaster form. Obviously, there's no confirmation that our coaster will ever go there, but it's it's fun to speculate. So just like the Drake Manor video, I'll be giving you my top three speculations on what the new investment could be. So let's start off with um, number three, right at the bottom. So number three is the least likely to happen. And what is my number three speculation, I hear you ask? It's a Mack Ride launch coaster. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking, why would Chesington want to invest something like this? Well, you got to think, the Mack Ride launch coasters, their launches aren't the most forceful. They're known for not being forceful. But it would be good just because they could really theme it out. A good example is Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I think if they did a similar layout at Chesington, I think it could work. They could really utilise like the pathways. Uh, obviously, I'm just going to quickly go through a couple of stats about Icon. As it has a track length of 3,750 feet. It has a height of 88.5 feet. It has a drop of 82 feet. Top speed of 52 miles an hour. One inversion. Uh, it has a bank angle at 120 degrees. Lasts for 2 minutes 41 seconds and has a G-force of 4.3. Now, yes, I know those stats sound a lot. 
but it is a double launch coaster. And I think, really, I think Chesington needs something, like, for the big thrill market. Obviously, I know you've got uh, Dragon's Fury and Vampire, which technically is doing that job. But I think it's about time that Chesington got a proper uh, coaster that will, you know, which m might introduce uh, new visitors to the world of inverting roller coasters. So, obviously, that's probably the least likely, but it could also be the most likely as well. Now, on to number two, which is possibly going to happen. And what is number two, I hear you ask? Well, number two is a Vacoma Family Boomerang. Now, just like with what I said about the Mac Rides launch coaster, uh, they could really utilise the pathways with this coaster. Um, and obviously, there's different types of the Vacoma Family Boomerangs. If anything, layout-wise, I think it'd be great if they installed... Um, a similar, if not clone, of Accelerator at Drayton Manor. Because uh, even if they didn't do a clone and they just did a similar layout, they could utilise the area, they could utilise the pathways, and I think it would, and they could theme it quite well. You know, look at the uh, two coasters which have recently just opened at Tripstrill in Germany. One of them is the world's first uh, Pacoma suspended thrill coaster and the other being a Pacoma family boomerang but yes not all the feelings complete but they look brilliant and they've come off quite brilliant so yeah I think we're most likely potentially maybe might get a a Pacoma family boomerang somewhere in the future now it's time for the number one the number one spot which is the most likely and what is the most likely one, I hear you ask? Well, it would be a Gerslauer family coaster. Now, what makes this interesting if they did do it is it would be the park's first ever Gerslauer coaster. They haven't had a Gerslauer coaster on park. And I think it would be great if they uh, had a Gerslauer coaster on park. Uh, but layout-wise, I think it'd be great if we had a similar layout to uh, a coaster in America called Fire Chaser Express at Dollywood. Uh, just to give you a few facts about Fire Chaser Express, it has a track length of 2,427 feet, has a maximum height of 78 feet, has a top speed of 34 miles an hour, and the element it has has two tyre-propelled launches, the first one being 0 to 16 miles per hour in 1.1 seconds, and the other launch being 0 to 20 miles an hour in 2 seconds. Uh, now the throughput's on this, 750 riders per hour. But these are free trains with 14 riders per train. And it does have a show section. Halfway through. And obviously this would, it would be an interesting coaster. I think to have. And just like all the other coasters I've said that could go in this spot. They could really utilise the pathways and the space. But yes, guys, that's my three predictions for what could be Chesington's next coaster investment. Because their last coaster investment was Dragon's Fury 16 years ago. Uh, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, comment down below. Um, I don't know what the next coaster uh, investment speculation video will be. It will... I'm just going to say this now, I won't be doing one on Legoland Windsor, as they literally just had their new coaster investment this year. So I might do one maybe next year or the year after. Uh, but the next one will probably either be Alton Towers or Fort Park. Anyway guys, like, comment and subscribe. Uh, if you're new around here, please subscribe because I'm dying my hair blue at 400. So, uh, like, comment and subscribe. I've been Asher, this has been another video on National Vlogs. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace out.